Hey everyone, welcome to my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption. <clears throat> hey there. Let's go play some poker. God damn it. Sir, uh, it's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul. What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser. Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the knobs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the start? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Down. I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Let's go. This is it! Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls. Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bear Claw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea.
Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! But who is he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it! Dutch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! No, they no, killed no, the no. stars! This is a nightmare! Do something quick! Oh, no. Well, we got the chance. Of my life. I wish I could say the same. Oh, Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I'm in dire need of a syringe. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Howdy, sir. Easy. and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. 
Get some rest, Professor. There, friend. What do you call this bastard? Leah, it's a one one game. Sure. Sorry, buddy. I think you wanted this one. I'm gonna raise that. Darn it. I'm folding. Do the toy gum lot, Tatka. It's no fun if you don't ever bet. I'm calling. Someone's feeling the pressure. Those were the cards I was hoping for. I'm gonna check. All right. I see. I see you fancy your hand, sir. Guess I'm folding. Well, I could get real lucky on this hand. I could. Decent this time. Prepare for it, come, Mutoga. How you doing? Oh, hi. Big spin. Oh, I'm so keen to prepare for it. Hmm. Who prepare for it, come, Yoga? I'll bet. I'll call you. One. I check. We got ourselves a tough guy. I'm going to call it. Your choice, my friend. you. Seems like you was weaned too soon. Okay, I'll place a bet. I call. Check. What the hell? Wish you all luck. Hear me, 
invaders. Self love is a most despicable thing. There, form your fire. I may regret this. more like it. Darn it. I'm voting. No funny dealing now. Go to him now before it's too late. Wake me up when you fancy playing. Think I'm gonna call. I'm not ready to get out yet. All in for me. He's bluffing. Ah, always nice to see an old friend. Give me a real card. It's not too late to repent. Be fair, I come, Mutonga. I'll call that. There's a raise from me. I'm old enough to take a few risks. God damn it. Oh my luck turns next day. Repent now, I tell you, repent. Feel like sitting in for a I'll join you for a while. Seems like you was weaned too soon. Whoop I come, Yoga. Don't forget about me. Turn the other cheek to Sodomy. Oh, oh. this will be an interesting one. Already? I'm watching you. Sorry, buddy. I think you wanted this one. But remember, he is and I'll raise you. I'll call you. La, you la ta ta la. I call. I see you fancy your hands, sir. Those were the cards I was hoping for. Some bite in this old he dog yet. Everything. Interesting. There is only my one hello. Sodomite, well played, sir. I know your game. 
You betcha. Hear me now. Automobiles are the devil's work. Repent and you will find your way. No funny dealing now. You look atrocity. The I could get real lucky on this hand. I could. Look at you all pleased with your cards. Ain't you aggressive, partner? Hmm. Repent now, I tell you, repent! Let's make this interesting. What the hell? Your choice, my friend. I'm out. Hello. Come out of the darkness and into the light. Damn. Damn. That's me Turn done and busted. Or you will surely burn. Hey. We can use another sucker. Are you a That's sucker? mighty kind of you. Let's get this show on the road. You have strayed from the path He's bluffing. I'll raise you. You ain't much fun. Paid you, ain't you? I'm gonna call him. Think I'll check. Sure. How about I make things interesting? Sure. I'll bet. Call you. Fair enough. No, thanks. What the hell? You're joking. There goes my son's inheritance. <laughs> I'll join you for a while. Be fair, Mike. 
咁污糟噶。唉、uh, ，我做唔到。Ain't you aggressive? King 啊。Believe me. Okay, that can't hit. May the worst man win, gentlemen. 攞命啊！ Are we going to be men about this? I'm not going to be a man. Call you. All right, we're off. You only live once. Nice day, huh? Thought I had that one in the back. Well, that didn't go well. More gambling. My mistake, sir. In Apollo Razor will give you the cheeks of a newborn. I guarantee. Professor. <clears throat> oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. <sighs> What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir. Yes, I am, sir. You know, you know the thing, the thing that is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. I'm not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> Nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. <laughs> Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Oh. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. 
We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> we're fighting for something a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Lisa, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. This way. John! Help me, John! Stay back, or the teacher gets it! I'll shoot you in a minute, McDougal. should be in an alleyway down here. Never in all my days. Come on, let's get the hell out of Blackwater. Let's go. Head for Manson, eat a post. I'm taking the first train out of here. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong! At least you got some good material for your next book! 
You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West. The romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. Giddy up! What do I have to do? Oh my god! There's more of them! My research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. This looks like the one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is in my business the worst policy. I work for our well-respected governor, Nate Johns. That makes sense. Now, there is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. I've been seen with a local whore. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. Crossfield always gets his man. Dead Don't shoot alive. till I give you the signal. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. The bastard killed. Open fire. They're in the window. Kick them off. Hopkins and Manny. 
get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them! Come on, let's get in there! This way! Marston, shoot the door open! Nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No. Oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Let's get after him! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston. You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard. Mount up, he went this way. Come on. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model. The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? 
No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he tug on your heartstrings? It kind of reminds me of you. A violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? Now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Who the hell are you fellers anyway? Lawmen or army? Look! That's Dutch's car! Hurry! Can't have got far! Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. I have this.
there, lady. Mister. Looking these cards. 